We're in Switzerland! Yummy Bunker is the open center. Press the cards with something better. into our hotel. How do you feel about this place, Ma Bear? Okay, so before I even say anything else, I just need to gather my thoughts because I was prepped for this place, right? And I'm confused right now <clears throat> and creeped out. So I was prepped by our tour manager and he yeah. says, hey, really jolly like, okay? So jolly tone goes, hey, so uh, today's kind of pretty cool. We're gonna stay in this hotel that's prison themed. <laughs> prison? So I'm thinking, oh cute, it's going to be like cute little cells and it's people are going to be like... What know? about prison is cute? Well, I never, I never thought of a hotel and anything bad about a prison going hand in hand, right? <clears throat> so it's Europe, everything's kind of cute, <clears throat> nothing's like heavy and super serious, okay? So then I walk in expecting to see like, oh cute little jumpers, maybe... Maybe like not even the orange ones that we see back home, like those the oh, white jumpsuit. And, the white, yeah, the white and, and, and black jumpsuits. That's what I'm expecting to see. Super cute stuff. We walk in and immediately I see this, this desolate, fucking cold, creepy, Silence of the Lambs looking fucking hotel. You don't think it looks cool? Uh, as a museum that I get to walk through, learn, and bounce. Not as something where I'm gonna sleep and I'm gonna hear like a fucking ghost go on these railings with this fucking metal cup going ring, ring. Okay, well that's not even the bad part. What the fuck is in here? Can we can we walk in here? Cause you know, I actually felt um, way different. So I also knew that it was a prison hotel. Yeah. But when I came in, I was like, oh cool, this is like a real life version of Alcatraz. So they have like these very <laughs> Who says, oh cool, I want to sleep in Alcatraz? Well, because it's so historical. And look, when are you ever going to stay in a prison hotel? I never wanted that. I, that was never on my bucket list. You know what part made me really happy? What? Watch, back up with me. When I first came in, and when you look at the front, I'm like, dude, there's nothing prison about this place. You got hella nice stones here. You got like this super dope tile. But then when I saw this door, Oh my God. I was like, oh. This, this is fucking legit. Look how fucking thick this door is. If you got locked in here, babe, there's no way I'm saving you. There is no, this thing is heavy. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? That is heavy. Okay, so this is where our room is now, okay? So as you can see, they kept with the prison thing. Everything's very monochromatic. You know what these stairs remind me of? Very depressing. It reminds me of um, the stairs when, um, like, let's say there's like a big ass, uh, like, jail fight, and then all the prison guards that come out with their, like, SWAT outfits and have to come storming down. I feel like these are the exact stairs they. How is that pleasant to sleep in? Life? Because it's not real life. It's like we're living in a Disneyland. Well, I want a museum of Disneyland, not somewhere where I'm gonna be sleeping. Yeah, but we're only staying here for a night. We're not staying here for the whole month. Uh, okay, well, this is where our room is now, okay? <laughs> this is the sink. This is like real life jail. You know in jail, like you have your sink and your toilet out, but they did give us the courtesy of putting this up so it blocks the toilet. Well, it takes up so much space. Well, look at, look at the rest of this room. No pictures. There's a barbed, what is it, window. Well, this is your favorite part. You talk about it. This is depressing me. It's not a barbed window. It it's, is. No, you know what barbed is? Oh, like, that, that, that spiral that, thing. That, that steel yeah, thing. Yeah, what that, is this thing called? It's barred window. Barred. Switzerland is freezing, by the way. 
holy sh! This, as soon as I opened it, it feels like I opened a freezer to like a meat Oof. meat storage place. But yeah, this is awesome. Look at this. Look how heavy duty this is. If I was a prisoner, you would try to get yourself on some wire and I knife. You would wrap it and it would start. Sh -sh 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 -sh. Hopefully, saw it. It's cold. All right. Look at this bed too. I don't, okay, so this is what threw me off too, is, so everything here is monochromatic, it looks very sad, very depressing, very prison-like, right? But then they put the happiest fucking most <laughs> summer and spring cheerful ass. It's blanket. <laughs> blanket. All right, well, let's look at the bathroom. So here's the bathroom. Damn, that's small, there. this is a small door. Okay, now this is creepy. Don't say that, don't say that. What's creepy? I hate black on white polka dots. What? Are you serious? This looks fucking creepy. It's a shower head. Look how fucking creepy this is though. Shut up. Well, I like that there's tile in here. Why? I don't understand. You don't think this is creepy? It's no, black it's dots. cute. That's very cute. This looks like watermelon seeds on a white watermelon. Let me see this. Oh and my that's god. That's all the dried blood from the murder. Don't say that. Oh. At least you have knee room when you sit to poop. I think it's going to be an interesting experience, and we're only going to be here for one day. Not even a full day, just eight hours. Yeah. We're going to go explore now. Yeah. It's going to be. It's going to be. is the coldest country we've gone to in Europe so far. Earlier we saw fur coats on all the chairs and here they have blankets. Every single seat has a blanket. It's pretty crazy to me because even though it's freezing and we're at a super high elevation, they still want to enjoy the beauty of what is Switzerland and I don't blame them because it's so gorgeous that I want to be out here too but it's just crazy that there's blankets that's how cold it is I have never been to any other country where they provide blankets at a restaurant oh, I want to hug you so bad Come here, little swanny. Swanny. Looking at us. Hey, swanny. Hey, hey. Swanny. <laughs> what? Did just attack us? He likes us. No, I think he's just Aren't you amazed that they're not cold? I am absolutely amazed, and I'm also amazed to find out when they're tipping over. They're look right now. <laughs> what? So cool. He's mooning us. Its feet, its webbed feet are black. I thought they were like orange like their beak. He's mooning I, us. <laughs> I imagine it just projects some poo poo at us. Like, get away. What I like about it is since they, their eyes are on the side, it always looks like they don't trust you. So they're like... <laughs> so cute. Because <laughs> they can't look head on. Yeah. They have to go like... <laughs>
CDs of brand new concepts, something I didn't even know existed. And basically, they're just a bunch of different, I guess, uh, little shops. And it looks like they're mom and pop, so you'll find a lot of arts and crafts, a lot of food, a lot of beverages. And you just walk up to said little shop, and then you buy what you want. And they set up little tables along the way where you're standing and you're consuming your drink or you're eating your food. And they have like a bunch of local street food. So I am so excited and I hope, 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 hope that LA gets something like this because it's so beautiful and it brings the community together. And I love to see everyone intermingling out here because there's old, there's young, there's like, everyone's here. You know, this is so beautiful. But I kind of feel like it's not going to work in L.A. And I'm not trying to burst your bubble. It's because L.A. people are losers. Uh, so no, like, we're not. it's fucking freezing right now, yeah. right? It's like 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes. So it's if, you very cold. if you throw water in the air, Look, it's probably going to freeze. Can you see that? And people are out and about and they're loving this. In L.A. This does not deter anyone. Yeah, in L.A. it can be 60 degrees. Yeah. The slightest bit of sprinkle, everyone just gold that, they that's just scram me. they that's just scram me. remember that one time we did a club event uh it was uh it was supposed to be a really popping night and just because it started sprinkling like everyone left uh, the club yeah, i'm yeah. like what the hell and the club is indoors you just have to walk yeah. from the car inside the club and now we're, they weren't even down to do that it's such a bummer because this place is so beautiful like you can just hear all the joy like everyone's super happy it's all laughs everyone's having a good, a good time buying you know, things from their local artists and craftsmen, and it's so cool. It's such a cool community event, and this only happens during Christmas. It's awesome. Yeah. So I guess for my Asian people out there, it's kind of like a night market, but it's only, it's, it's seasonal. Oh, it's a white people white market. Yeah, this is a European white market. Yeah, this is amazing. I can't wait to eat. I just noticed something that's really cool, and right behind me are three different cuisines, Tibet, Russian and Slovenian and I haven't tried any of those three so I'm kind of curious but we're gonna have to see what so did we order <laughs> the first dish we got is Serbian and it's called Savapici and this is the first time in my entire life I ordered something without knowing what the fuck it was. <laughs> so I was asking them, but there, there's such a huge language barrier because they're not only in Switzerland, but they're Serbian. So we don't speak anything. And I was just like, that's one. And so what it looks like is a bunch of sausages. I don't know, it could be lamb, chicken, pork, beef, whatever. There's like some sort of sauce, cheese. And then uh, I, I think I saw them put some sort of coleslaw looking thing. So I don't know what it is. It could be camel for all I know. For all I know. So uh, here's the moment of truth. It is really good, man. You gotta try it. Try to get a piece with of everything? Uh, a lot of meat and everything. It's pretty good. Isn't it good? It's so well seasoned, has great balance. I just wish I knew what I was eating. Yeah, the bread is soft, but I really don't know. The meat is very soft. How does it feel to eat something you have no idea what it is? Amazing, because then my mind is not fucking me up. So I hope I never find out. <laughs> we'll, we'll look it up online after. This is really good. I thought this red stuff was gonna be spicy, but it's not. Yeah, it's bomb. It's really good. It's so well seasoned. For all my Serbian peeps, if you know what a seva pici is, let us know in the comments below because I have no idea what it is. It, it could be fried rats. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we got some Tibetan food. So this really piqued my curiosity because Tibet is in the greater part of China. So I was like, is this just Chinese food, but rebranded differently? So I had to try it to see if the seasoning was different. And then as I walked by, I heard them speaking what I thought was Tibetan. And then I heard them speak uh, Mandarin to each other with a crazy accent. So I asked them, I'm like, hey, uh, do you guys speak Chinese? And they're like, yes, we do. I'm from Tibet, she's from Tibet. And then it's, it sounded legit. And the, their faces doesn't look like normal, stereotypical Chinese faces. So I'm like, all right, this is legit. So this one is a meat dumpling. And let's see what the difference what is between. What is it called though? Momo. Yep. Which is crazy because in Chinese it's jiaozi. It has nothing. It's, yeah. nothing. it's way different. It's like two different languages. And what's that dipping thing? I have no idea. 
<laughs> it's red. Mm. It looks really hot, or it's really cold out here. There's a lot of steam happening here. Mm. It tastes very similar to Chinese food, which is, I know a lot about. But the only difference is, uh, usually when you get Chinese food, you get dumplings, you either get like pork with cabbage or pork with leeks or pork with whatever. And they kind of took all three different types of seasonings of dumplings and put it into one. So it's really good, but it's a very fresh take on dumplings. And that was the first time in my entire life that I ever even saw a Tibetan person in real life and I thought that was hella cool. High five there, Paul. Now your turn, baby. Oh shit, Half Hold bite. On. Half bite or whole bite? Uh, don't let it drip on my scarf because I'm going to freeze. What you think? It has like Ethiopian flavors. Yeah, there's some spices that I've, I'm like, can't really quite put my finger on, yeah. but there's some spices on there. It's really sweet. It's like tomato. It's like Ethiopian and Indian. It kind of has like a, like a chicken tikka masala type of like flavor, flavor to it. Yeah. It's good. It just tastes like a, a Chinese dumpling, to be honest. Try the, try the vegetarian one. It doesn't taste like a little bit more exotic because you know it's Tibetan. I, it might be the dipping sauce. <laughs> oh. Because I didn't try it without it. That's the vegetable one, right? Mm. Oh, and I bargained with them. You're supposed to get five dumplings. Oh, yeah. And I said, hey, 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 you're Asian. You know the bargain. And I said, can I get three of these and two of these? He's like, yup. I'm like, hell yeah. This is spicy. It's good. Was it cool to you? Was it cool to you to meet Tibetan people for the first time? Or, or is yeah. it even the first time that you met Tibetan people? I've never met a Tibetan person ever. Like ever. So that was really cool to see uh, the difference in uh, face. Because they don't look like any Asian I've ever seen, ever. Yeah. They look like a cross between like a Japanese person with a Chinese person, a Korean person. Uh, maybe like even like a... and Kazakh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It looks like that. One little known fact is that um, because if you view China from the Western world, China, uh, Western world is all about divide and conquer, but uh, Tibetans are actually considered Chinese. So there's more than 56 different ethnicities in China, and Tibetan is just one of them, Mongolian is one of them, there's a ton of them. I think when people refer to Chinese in the modern day, they're referring to the Han Chinese, and that is just one, one ethnicity of Chinese. There's so many different kinds, which is why you'll find Chinese people that look Korean, that look Japanese, that look whatever, and it's really cool that I was able to meet one other type of Chinese person, and he's Tibetan. Bear high five. Rawr. So we were on a quest to find some hot cocoa because in Switzerland, that's what they're known for. And unfortunately, we didn't get the hot cocoa fresh. I did see that in these stands, they did use a package, so here it is. But it's really cute because they put cream on it, which is whipped cream, cream, and then they added chocolate sprinkles in it. So, moment of truth with package <laughs> hot chocolate. It might be cold cocoa now too because it's so cold out here. Well, I like it. So I already like, I already don't like chocolate yeah. because milk chocolate to be specific just because it's really very sugary and it's too sweet for me. But this one, it's instant chocolate and they make it with milk so it's not as rich and sweet. So I like it. It's a little bit more on the bitter side. I guess it has more dark chocolate than uh, dark oh, cool. chocolate properties than milk chocolate. So for that, I like it, but I still don't feel like I got my hot cocoa. You know what's one thing that um, I've noticed about hot cocoa in a lot of European countries? Ah. Is that they like to put a heavy whipped cream on top. Yeah. And that whipped cream, once it settles into the hot cocoa, it's almost that's the thing that kind of creams creams it. So it, it gives it a thicker consistency yeah. and it's really smooth. Yeah. What about the Belgian waffle? Okay, so I didn't even want Belgian waffles. Pop Bear wanted it. Yep. And I'm glad he did. We waited like 10 minutes for these. They made it, excuse me, I just burped. They made it fresh. And they added cherries, warm cherries, and then they were like cooking it in like its juices. So what? warm berry juices, cherry juices with uh, powdered sugar on it. And I'm gonna try it. Chloe, I wanna eat it too. It's, it's gonna get fresh. cold. fresh, I know. It's gonna be fresh cold waffles. <laughs> it's so all right, cold all right, out here. here. I go, here I go. Is it anything? <laughs> Is it yummy? It's heaven. We need to eat it right now because it's warm. We need to eat it right now. Hurry. I'm gonna use my hands. 
there's juices, so it's gonna drip. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? <laughs> hey! Manners! It was the powdered sugar. Wow. The powdered sugar, I inhaled it, it's on like the cinnamon challenge, and it went all the way inside. But this is bomb! Yes. So it's a really light wow. batter. It's, it's the perfect amount of sweetness mm. for me. And the cherries actually provide a lot of sweetness, but it has a very um, organic and fresh feeling to it. This <laughs> waffle? Look crazy. You know the um, the Hong Kong waffle? Yeah. It has that type of crispy and flakiness. I've never had a Belgian waffle like this before. It's kind of crispy and it's kind of light. It's really, really good. This Belgian waffle is pretty bomb. Dig it in. We're going to eat it before it gets cold because we're freezing out here. Mm. You need a napkin. <laughs> 